I'm Ban Ki-moon, 70 years old. I'm Secretary General of the United Nations. I was very much inspired by a philosopher who said that even though I know that it will be the end of this earth, I'll be planting a tree. That has been inspiring uh, to me. Then I'll be continuing to do what I should do as a Secretary General until the last day. For anyone to reach 70 years is quite some achievement. When that someone is an organization that has spent all of those 70 years trying to maintain peace throughout the entire world, its achievement cannot truly be measured by years alone. The 24th of October 1945 marked a key date in human history. The formation of the United Nations. The Conference of the United Nations on International Organization is now convened. The UN was established in the wake of the Second World War, following the meeting of representatives from 50 countries in San Francisco at the UN Conference on International Organization. The United Nations has been tackling global challenges every day for 70 years, providing an opportunity for its members to openly express their views and solve problems together. The United Nations understands that the challenges of our times transcend borders and require complex solutions, reached through negotiation and compromise, meaning the need for the UN is greater than ever. As of 2015, the United Nations is 70 years young. Young because when you're caring for the whole world, it's a never-ending job. Strong UN, Better World is the theme of the UN's 70th anniversary, reflecting the importance of working together to improve all lives. As humans, we have to take on many roles throughout our lives. Organizations do too. The UN continues to play many roles in maintaining peace and security in the world, while building lives of sustainable prosperity, security and dignity for all mankind. One of these was in 1970, when the United Nations played a key role in helping shape the future of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The United Nations and Bahrain have shared a valuable partnership since 1971, when Bahrain became an official member of the UN on the 21st of September of that year. Yet the relationship was established a long time before that. So what role did the United Nations play in supporting Bahrain? The first role the United Nations played in Bahrain was as facilitator during the 1960s, with membership in a number of UN agencies. Following the visit of the personal representative of the Secretary General in 1970, further cooperation led to the declaration of Bahrain's official membership in the United Nations in 1971. <laughs> عندما شاركت البحرين في اجتماعات منظمة الأقضية والزراعة الفاو عام 1967 ومن بعدها في منظمة الأمم المتحدة للتربية والثقافة والعلوم اليونسكو ومنظمة الصحة العالمية WHO في عام 1970 استقبلت البحرين مبعوث الأمم المتحدة السيد يوثانت على رأس البعثة الدولية للتعرف على وجهة نظر أهل البحرين والتي اتخذ بموجبها مجلس الأمن الدولي قرار رقم 278 لعام 1970 الذي أكد بأن البحرين دولة عربية مستقلة وذات سيادة The heartful thanks of the government and the people of Bahrain to all members of the Security Council who have approved the application of the state of Bahrain for admission to the United Nations. The people of Bahrain opted for a full, sovereign, independent nation of Bahrain. 
they decide their future with their own destiny. The personal representative of the UN Secretary General, Mr. Vittorio Guicciardi, specifically stated in his report, My consultations have convinced me that the overwhelming majority of the people of Bahrain wish to gain recognition of their identity in a fully independent and sovereign state free to decide for itself its relations with other states. The UN is the most important political organization in the world and hence Bahrain to fulfill its obligations internationally has to be a member of this organization so its voice is heard. In 1978, the relationship between the United Nations and Bahrain progressed with the opening of the United Nations Development Programme through the UNDP offices in Manama and the signing of the Standard Basic Assistance Agreement to ensure inclusive development. With the aim of, of a programme like the United Nations Development Programme, it's not to teach things, but it's to develop the capacities of, its, uh, of, the, of the country itself. The UN has always provided uh, very important, valuable support for Bahrain in, in providing research uh, and expertise in many fields, especially in uh, some of the important developmental goals that Bahrain has uh, embarked on regarding the development of uh, women, uh, enfranchising them. Although Bahraini women has always been part of our society, we're always proud that uh, we have grandmothers and great-grandmothers that have college degrees. So uh, they've always been uh, part of it, and then the UN came and provided technical support, very valuable technical support for us in that field. Also in social development and other programs uh, for different various ministries. So uh, the UN office in Bahrain has always been a very good help for the government of Bahrain and we are proud of this relationship. During the 1980s, Bahrain played a key role within the governing body of the United Nations International Labour Organization. This position helped Bahrain develop its own social and economic progress through setting appropriate labour standards. Today, the ILO has given us an opportunity, a platform, a springboard that we can choose to use or not to forge a better future for us all, a future for all of our workers and our citizens to live and work a decent and dignified life. From 1982 to 1985, Bahrain's contribution to the United Nations family of organizations was further enhanced when it became a member of the executive board of UNICEF, the leading agency for children's rights and development. During the 1990s, Bahrain progressed its human development through economic diversification initiatives, to the degree that it became the top Arab country on the United Nations Human Development Index, based on life expectancy, per capita income, and education. In 1998, Bahrain was elected to the United Nations Security Council. In this day, I remember the 14th October, كان يوم انتخاب الأعضاء الجدد في في مجلس الأمن. البحرين حصلت على 172 صوت أو تف 174. I elected members of the Security Council for a two-year term beginning on 1st January 1998. Bahrain, Brazil, I congratulate the states which have been elected members of the Security Council. Bahrain's success story is a result of its leadership's interest in human development. The kingdom's diversification strategy helped elevate the once oil-dependent economy into a thriving and diverse environment of international standing. The late Emir of Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, was the architect of many social and economic improvements that propelled Bahrain high on the United Nations list of developing countries. Bahrain was the first center of trade, a pioneer in civil aviation, and had the first public education system in the region.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa constituted a national action charter that was democratically endorsed by a public referendum that won the approval of 98% of the population. وقد أدركنا في مملكة البحرين قبل عقد ونيف من الزمن أهمية التحرك نحو مزيد من الإصلاح والتطوير واضعين نصب عيوننا المصلحة العليا لشعبنا. Political and social reforms were introduced under a framework of justice and fairness. Political changes in 2002 reinforced the right of women to participate in the electoral process. In 2006, Bahrain joined the United Nations Human Rights Council, and by 2008, the cumulative developments of previous years enabled Bahrain to conceive its own economic vision for 2030. In June 2006, a Bahraini was elected as President of the United Nations General Assembly. Sheikha Haya bint Rashid Al Khalifa was the first Arab woman and historically only the third woman ever appointed as President when she was elected to the 61st session of the General Assembly. تم انتخابي رئيس الجمعية العامة للأمم المتحدة بتاريخ 8 يونيو 2006. وتوليت المنصب رسميا في سبتمبر 2006 الى 17 سبتمبر 2007. I was in the room when she was uh, elected by acclamation and the whole general assembly just uh, gave a, a deserving ovation. And it, I felt this was for Bahrain, this was for our legacy of our women. For a nation of firsts, it came as little surprise when the UN Economic and Social Commission for Western Asia declared Bahrain as the fastest growing economy in 2007. Education has always been high on the agenda, and the UNDP has frequently assisted the kingdom by identifying its strengths and weaknesses in this regard. The government increased educational spending and launched the school improvement program. These actions have resulted in Bahrain obtaining an adult literacy of over 91%, according to the UN Human Development Report of 2011. This commitment has been reinforced by the introduction of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information communication technologies in education. Today, six UN agencies are well established in Bahrain, including the United Nations Development Programme, the United Nations Environment Programme Regional Office for West Asia, United Nations Information Centre's Sub-Regional Office, UNIDO's Technology Promotion Regional Office, the International Civil Aviation Organization, and the Regional Office of World Meteorological Organization. So we have a presence here, we also have about 15 UN agencies that come in and out that uh, provide support to Bahrain from either from the, the Gulf region, some of them are in Doha, others in Riyadh, others in the Emirates, others in Kuwait. We also have colleagues obviously coming in from other regional centers like in Beirut, in Amman and in, uh, in Cairo. So from there there's quite a lively support, sometimes on very specific issues um, and sometimes for broader programs for the development of the country. The plan for strengthening the relationship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations emanates from His Majesty's Royal Wisdom that Bahrain will progress and develop through the efforts of its youth. His Majesty constantly mentions in his State of the Nation speeches the necessity to focus on the youth's aspirations and drive to achieve government excellence in order to ensure a higher sustainable standard of living for our people. In Bahrain, the United Nations has advised on, promoted and implemented sustainable human development strategies and programs based on national priorities. These are aligned to Bahrain's reform agenda, its Economic Vision 2030, and the National Economic Strategy. 
The UNDP and UNIDO work with the Bahrain government through its ministries alongside public institutions and the private sector to advise on the formulation of economic policies, knowledge systems and frameworks. Bahrain, of course, is very active within uh, the region itself. And for UNDP, we have benefited uh, from support from this country for our work in uh, Palestine, for example. Uh, but Bahrain's interests go beyond the, the region. It is a, a global citizen. Socioeconomic indicators, obviously Bahrain has done extremely well. This is a high income country. Uh, there isn't hunger. Uh, there is universal schooling. Uh, there is a good health care system. Uh, so all these basics are in place and on what we measure human development by, which is income per capita, uh, education uh, status and health status, Bahrain does well. Bahrain has always strived for environmental development, despite the challenges of having a largely desert habitat. Progress has been made though with the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development in 1992 with the United Nations Development Programme advising the country through the Supreme Council for the Environment in the development of its National Environment Strategy. Which we form what we call a country team with the different agencies that are present here. Now it's a small presence, as I mentioned, it's uh, six agencies, but uh, one of the interesting points is what it binds all of us together is actually the response to environmental challenges. The Government of Bahrain has supported UNEP and facilitated its mandate to promote sustainable development in general and protection of the environment in West Asia for over 30 years. Primarily with its focal point in the Government, the Supreme Council for Environment, with whom we have a long-standing and effective relationship, supporting the Supreme Council in a number of initiatives providing technical and policy guidance. Expanding partnership with other government entities such as the National Oil and Gas Authority on the Environment of a Center for Sustainable Development for Energy with UNDP and ongoing collaboration with the Ministry of Education for raising awareness about environmental issues, greening the public schools and organizing environmental campaigns. With UNEP's presence and support offered by the government over years, Bahrain is being seen as a leading country for the environment and sustainable development in the region. Keeping Bahrain's environment appealing UNESCO has been instrumental in advising on the preservation and promotion of the kingdom's rich cultural heritage. And today, Bahrain is fortunate to have two notable sites inscribed on the World Heritage List. In 2010, the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage was established in Bahrain to reinforce the effective conservation and protection of natural and cultural heritage. I find Bahrain very interesting uh, culturally uh, and historically, the position it's held in, in the Gulf at the ancient Dilmun civilization. It, it's truly on the crossroads of humanity. Bahrain has taken an active role in working with the UNDP as part of its social development strategy to support a democratic culture whereby women and youth are duly included with the consideration of progressing society. Women have always been major contributors to the fabric of Bahrain, and this has only increased further, reinforcing that Bahrain remains at the forefront of the region in making genuine progress in advancing opportunities for women. And, through the constitution and relevant legislation, the Kingdom is employing a national strategy for the advancement of Bahraini women. In 2001, the Kingdom established the Supreme Council for Women, to empower women and integrate their needs into government planning. تصديق مملكة البحرين على عدد من الاتفاقيات النوعية التي تركز على تقدم المرأة البحرينية وكيفية معالجة كافة ظواهر العنف وكافة ظواهر التمييز ضد المرأة ومن هنا جاء دور المجلس الأعلى للمرأة من أجل دعم هذه العلاقات العريقة والوثيقة ما بين الدولة وما بين مع الأمم المتحدة 
المرأة حصلت على كثير من المناصب وصلت إلى درجة وزيرة إلى سفيرة إلى مستشارة. In order to maximize inclusiveness as part of development, Bahrain and the UNDP have been working together on the Gender and Economic Policy Management Initiative. Through this project, Bahrain will be best placed to measure and monitor progress towards achieving economic goals by gender and use resources more effectively, efficiently and fairly. أما فيما يتعلق بتعاوننا مع الأسكوا، فهناك مشروع يسمى بالتدقيق الجندري. ونحن نعمل في إطاره في هذا الإطار من أجل تحقيق مبدأ تكافؤ الفرص بشكل واقعي على الأرض ونعمل على وضع كافة الآليات اللازمة لإدماج احتياجات المرأة في المسار التنموي. The kingdom boasts many considerable achievements in regard to empowering women through improving their employment and developmental needs. This has been realized given women now represent 72% of students in higher education and 35% of the labor force. 2001. The establishment of the Supreme Council for Women. 2002. Women stand as candidates in national elections and to undertake positions of authority within government. 2002. Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women 2004 The Appointment of the Kingdom's First Female Minister 2005 Political Empowerment Programme for Women in Collaboration with the UNDP 2006 Establishment of Patelco's Centre for Victims of Domestic Violence 2008 The Establishment of National Women's Day for Bahraini Women 2009 the launch of the National Strategy for Advancement of Bahraini Women. 2012, Bahrain's nominee won a seat on the UN Committee for the Rights of the Child. Winning a seat in the uh, Committee on the Rights of the Child uh, unfolds uh, the importance uh, of the role the rest of the world sees Bahrain is capable of, uh, of leading on an international platform. As part of Bahrain's active role in sustainable development, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, opened its Investment and Technology Promotion Office, known as the ITPO, in the Kingdom in April 1996, with the goal of promoting and mobilizing investment into Bahrain and the region. The ITPO in 2001 established in Bahrain the UNIDO Arab International Center for Entrepreneurship and Investment. This led to the development of the Enterprise Development and Investment Promotion Program, which is now active in 48 countries worldwide, including Bahrain. The program aims to stimulate new as well as grow existing enterprises to provide employment and contribute toward economic growth. Since the inception of the program in Bahrain, UNIDO ITPO has assisted 7,000 Bahraini entrepreneurs, leading to the creation of 1,300 new enterprises with an estimated investment of 1.5 billion US dollars and the creation of 15,000 new jobs. On the international human rights front, Bahrain has demonstrated its commitment through its election to the United Nations Commission for Human Rights from 2002 to 2004, and was elected as vice chairman for the commission in its final year of tenure. When the commission changed to become the Human Rights Council in 2006, Bahrain was one of the initial elected members. Complementary to its human rights commitment, the Kingdom has long played a role in humanitarian activities in the region. It is connected to respected humanitarian organizations such as the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, the UN International Children's Emergency Fund, the UN Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees, the Bahrain Red Crescent Society, as well as having its own national humanitarian establishment, the Royal Charity Organization, or RCO. Royal Charity Organization's activities it was established in 2001 by His Majesty the King as part of his reform program 
and to look after the orphans of Bahrain. Very soon, it went to take over the widows as well. But the major change took place in 2007 with the big reorganization, uh, including uh, putting His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as chairman of the board. With his youth and dynamism, he encouraged RCO to take over a lot of big challenges. These challenges became successful because of our relation with the United Nations. And if you look at, at the wall behind me, you see that is what my team does. And that's why uh, we gain the respect of United Nations, that we not only donate money, but we attend with them to difficult areas. To progress development, the United Nations played a key supporting role as a guide to provide the necessary focus and frameworks to help Bahrain define its journey, transform lives, realize valuable achievements, and assist in progress towards the Kingdom's own national vision. Since Bahrain and the UNDP signed the Standard Basic Assistance Agreement in 1978, numerous achievements have been accomplished. Bahrain has succeeded in diversifying its economy, reduced its reliance on oil, and managed to formulate a long-term strategy for the Kingdom's development with its Vision 2030. Bahrain also realized many notable social and economic accomplishments, and has been able to translate economic growth into improved quality of life for its citizens. 2001, His Majesty the King introduced the National Action Charter. 2005, established UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for ICT in Education. 2006, elected President of the 61st Session of the United Nations General Assembly. 2007, Bahrain Prime Minister awarded the UN Habitat Scroll of Honor. 2007, launch of the biannual Khalifa bin Salman Award for Urban Development. 2008, launched Vision 2030. 2009, awarded Avicenna Medal. 2009, Bahrain ranked 39th globally for human development. 2010, UN Public Service Awards e-Government. 2010, received the Millennium Development Goals Award. 2015, Bahrain Prime Minister awarded the International Telecommunication Union Award. In September 2000, Bahrain was among the largest gathering of world leaders in history to adopt the Millennium Declaration, committing nations to achieve developmental goals. The goal of all the eight is to enter the national 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 in Bahrain. So I can tell you that we achieved it after 15 years, from 2000 to 2015, we achieved the goal. Bahrain integrated the MDGs into a flexible tool that was used for its national planning. Goal number one. All residents of Bahrain live above the poverty line. Goal number two. By 2010, all children of primary age were enrolled in free public schooling. Goal number three. By 2014, women held 47% of public sector jobs and 31% of private sector jobs. Goal number four. By 2013, the mortality rate for children under five was below 1%. Goal number five. By 2013, the maternal mortality rate declined to 35 deaths per 100,000 live births. Goal number six. Given the low incidence of HIV AIDS, all affected Bahraini citizens have access to free medical treatment. Goal number seven. Bahrain is committed to addressing the challenges caused by climate change and the more efficient use of natural resources like water and energy fuels. Goal number eight. 
By 2015, Bahrain was established as a recognized participant in international development forums and a source for humanitarian aid. In order to build on the MDGs and to connect the citizens of the world with its global leaders, the UN initiated the My World Survey, which enabled every citizen in the world to choose the six most important priorities out of 16 developmental issues that had the greatest impact on their lives. This survey would enable global leaders to understand citizens' concerns and priorities in order to help define the new post-2015 Sustainable Development Agenda and associated Sustainable Development Goals. The survey in Bahrain was promoted by the UN country team with wide-ranging local participation in public and private spaces. We had started with a, a survey, the My World Survey, where we asked the Bahraini people to select which ones are the priorities, the future development priorities, which then were part of the, became part of a global discussion on what should be the future sustainable development goals, when people can actually be part of deciding on what should be the strategies for the future for the country. Guided by the United Nations, Bahrain made enormous progress to achieve the Millennium Development Goals. The United Nations developed a new agenda for 2015 to 2030. The Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, build on the accomplishments of the Millennium Development Goals. Bahrain swiftly adopted this new agenda and is incorporating these new SDGs in its government plan and national activities for social and economic benefit. Bahrain has been always very keen on the development side to uh, fulfill the Millennium Development Goals, um, to actually embrace these type of international agendas, and not only to do it for Bahrain itself, but also to see in some cases, how to help other countries to achieve these. Uh, the agenda puts a great deal of emphasis on uh, peaceful and inclusive societies, on reducing inequalities, and of course on poverty eradication. Uh, so, I think that uh, it will be very important for Bahrain to make a flying start uh, with the new agenda, and it has indicated a lot of interest in this. The future agenda of sustainable development. Bahrain will implement its own obligations toward this important document and will work for peace, tranquility, uphold the banners of the United Nations for a sustainable development and the human rights. Bahrain used the United Nations Millennium Development Goals as a guide to uh, achieve an elevated status compared to other nations. The post-2015 Sustainable Development Goals were adopted to further ensure the uh, United Nations founding purpose, uh, which is to secure a solid foundation for international cooperation, to pave the way for a prosperous, sustainable development, and to ensure a secure and stable future for all nations and for humanity. The United Nations has played many pivotal roles in supporting the development of Bahrain as facilitator, advisor and guide. Bahrain is now well placed to be able to work alongside the United Nations to play its own role as a strong regional and international partner on the world stage. The United Nations was created by very important countries uh, with in size and power and wealth uh, in the aftermath of uh, World War II. And uh, it had its goals of ensuring peace and stability. But, you know, years later in 1971 came a very small country that is really punching above its weight. And uh, this is Bahrain. We want to show the world that even small countries can be as active, as dependable, as powerful, 
I think Bahrain has a real chance to be a champion of the Sustainable Development Goals and to you know, show by its example that it's determined to move across all of the goals. There is an enduring partnership between Bahrain and, and the United Nations. I am confident that the United Nations has the goodwill, the means and the capacity to assist us as we take the way forward to achieving our people's dreams and aspirations. Ever since Bahrain's admission into the United Nations in 1971, the Kingdom has been a valued partner of our organization, both in Bahrain itself and around the world. Your country has benefited from the international cooperation that comes with being a UN member state and has also supported other countries' development and humanitarian needs. As the United Nations marks its 70th anniversary, our ties continue to grow with your hosting of UN offices as well as key conferences on sustainable development. Your support will be crucial in implementing the Sustainable Development Goals, empowering the world's women, and building peaceful, inclusive, and well-governed societies rooted in human rights and democratic practices. The United Nations is strongly committed to helping Bahrain to achieve its development aspirations and build better lives for the country's people. Thank you.